All right, this is my how to solve a four by four part two. And it is how to solve parity errors. So what you do is after you have all of the edges paired up and all the centers done, you wanna make sure that the centers are in the right place and the edges are all paired up. And then you solve this as much as you can until you reach the cross like a three by three. If you have three edges matched up of a cross, you'll have the you'll have a parity case where one edge is flipped. It's really these two pieces are swapped, and if and we can swap them, but it requires a monster algorithm. You are going to need to write this down, and I will keep it in the description as parity case number one. Flipping an edge. And you will need to write this down, tattoo it on the inside of your eyelids, memorize it every single night if you want to learn how to solve this cube and any other even numbered cubes without going back to this tutorial right here. Because this tutorial is basically how to solve all even numbered cubes. So what you do is you take the edges that you want to switch, put it in the front. And it doesn't matter if anything's solved on the cube. It's just if the you go as far as you can with the with the cross. And whatever you do, if you notice that you have an odd number of edges matched up, you have parity case number one, and you can do it right then and there. But I like to finish most of the cross before I do it. And here is what it is. You must write this down. Get a pencil and paper. You can pause the video whenever you want. Replay it. Tattoo it on your eyes. Put it on tape. Whatever you want. As long as you remember this for the rest of your life. I probably will. It took me months to get this thing memorized. So the algorithm is two r star 2b 2u l star 2u r prime star 2u r star 2u 2f r star 2 F L prime star two B two R star and that finishes the algorithm. Now you want to continue solving this like a Rubik's cube. And do not pair up do not line up any edges yet. So what you have now is two corners matched up but with two edges not matched up and that's a good thing believe me it is that means you don't have the next parity case and it's an extreme good thing but I'm going to demonstrate it by adding the algorithm I'm adding the algorithm to the mix to demonstrate the parity case. All right. So what you'll end up with is you'll um, line two edges up, and then you'll notice that you have one corner matched up. And if you think in your brain, if I cycle these three around, they will come out to being all solved you have a parity case. And that's the algorithm that I just did to bring it to you. This is one of the shorter ones. And I'm going to make a tips and tricks video on this, on how to make your life easier with this parity case. So what you do is you do this algorithm. And it switches the front and the back edges. The algorithm is two little r. 
2u, 2 little r, 2u star, 2 little r, 2 little u. And that switches the front and the back edges. And then you can match them up here and then resolve and then solve like a Rubik's cube. And then do the corner thingy. And this thing looks even better if you have two opposite edges that are that aren't matched up. Because I'm going to show you what this thing does at the end. Alright, so here's what the algorithm does at the end. The uh, switching the two opposite edges. And I like to do it with red and orange. The algorithm is 2 little r, 2u, 2 little r, 2u star, 2 little r, 2 little u. See? And this works with any big cube that's even numbered. Odd numbered, it won't work. Because odd numbered, it would swap something in here. It only works with even numbered. So, um, now I'll do this with finger tricks. Aw, oh, crap, I used two R star. So you gotta make sure that you do two little R before doing anything else. Alright, and now I'm gonna show you what the edge, what the edge flipping does. I like to do it on the yellow side. 2R star, 2B. I'm going to show you that 2B, 2U, L star, 2U, R prime star, 2, 2U, R star, 2U, 2F, R star, 2F, L prime star, 2B, 2R star, and it flips this whole front section and these two edges. It also distorts the corners. So that's why I like to do it right when you see it. Alright. Now I'll do this with finger tricks. And that's how you do it with finger tricks. So I'm going to keep these parity algorithms in the description. Keep, uh, keep these parity algorithm, algorithms in the description where to do them. And, I'm, and I hope that you solve a 4x4. Four four. And this method will also work for a 6x6. Six six. Although you will need to learn some other parity algorithms from the 5x5. Five